Good evening on what is, I regret to have to report, a pretty unpleasant night. The rain has been lashing down here. I'm Derek Ray, here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It's Dinamo Zagreb against Paris Saint-Germain. Thank you, Derek. Well, I can feel the nerves jangling tonight around this stadium. The host could qualify for the knockout stages. It's a bit do or die. They would have thought they'd have been through by now. What will happen in the end? I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. well balanced this formation Lee yeah it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending the lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll interesting to compare and contrast PSG now with PSG a few years ago 
Lee, you played against them in a pretty big contest before the big money came in. Yeah, this semi-final in 94, the Cup Winners' Cup, they had a few good players. They had the one exceptional one in David Ginola, and guess whose job it was to mark him? That'll be mine. Fortunately, I came out on top. Well, the team did, and we got to the final. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. Gavranovic with it. Goyak now. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Opportunity it is. Well, just couldn't quite keep himself onside. The flag has gone up. Danny Olmo with it. It's Kimpembe now. Here's Marquinhos. Here is Juan Bernat. Marquinhos. Here's Mbappe. And I can remember watching PSG when they didn't have the attached glamour that is part of the story now. It's almost intriguing watching them in the Champions League these days, Lee. Well, it is when they're in a position to go out, really, and buy any player they want. That does not give you an advantage, especially when it comes to winning your own league, but also in the Champions League as well. Ariana Demi. Danny Olmo with it. And on the ball, Goyak. Edinson Cavani, the Uruguayan, knows a thing or two about scaling attacking heights. What are you looking forward to seeing from him, Lee? Well, every defender goes into the game not wanting three goals in three games to be the player you're playing against. And that's the case today. Thiago Silva's block. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. And it's played into the centre. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. And a throw-in forthcoming. And the ball with Stojanovic. Danny Olmo with it. Well, can he make this move count? Is he going to punish them here? Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. So, a corner here. And he's fired over the corner. And you need your defender to take charge. Ademi on the ball. Now, what can he do here? Carrying a genuine threat here. Mbappe. And it is Marco Verratti. And it's Cavani. And Mbappe! And foiled only by the crossbar. And he knocked it over the touchline. So it will be a throw in here. Mbappe with it. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make.
Goyak now. Promising looking ball. Well, Kimpembe was on top of it. Verratti. Cavani. Di Maria. Verratti now. Cavani. Tilo Keira. And it's Cavani. Well clattered away. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Can they take the lead? Terrific reflex action. Yeah, you've just got to come out and spread yourself and hope for the best. And so it will be a corner. Well, we always think we know exactly what we saw, but on these occasions, the goal decision system comes in handy, Lee. Well, not on this occasion, because it wasn't a goal, and we can all see that, but <laughs> we'll have another look at it. The tighter issues, yes, but sometimes technology gets in the way. That's just a waste of space. <laughs> and firing it into the area, and a no-nonsense clearance. Di Maria, Keira, Verratti, Marquinhos, Edinson Cavani now. Corner given to PSG. And a deep court. Cavani! Outrageously good piece of defending on the line. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. It's Neymar's corner. Kylian Mbappé! Well, sometimes for a goalkeeper, it's not about the spectacular, it's about the routine. Absolutely. Concentration. Concentration. It's all between the ears. Ariana Demi. And then for the real chance, only the keeper to beat. Just drifted into the illegal position, offside, in the opinion of the officials. Here's Marquinhos. Neymar. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Simple for the keeper. Danny Olmo with it. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Useful looking ball. Up a dead end, alas. Thunders clear. And Orsic with it. And a good looking ball. The twixt and between that clearance. Can they hit on the break? Verratti. Thiago Silva. Verratti now. Here's Mbappe. This is Neymar. Oh, regaining possession for his side cleverly. Relentless high pressing. Goyak now. And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Oh. 
So the corner played into the box. Now, what can he do here? Well, let's see, does he mean business? He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. Mislav Orsic. On the ball, Teofield Katarin. Petar Stojanovic. Danny Olmo. Carrying a genuine threat here. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Mbappe with it. Verratti. It's Kimpembe now. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Cavani. Di Maria now. Neymar. Mbappe. Will there be a tangible end product? Danny Olmo with it. Well, the half-time whistle here, Lee. And if it stays this way, they'll go tumbling out in the group stage. Well, half-time couldn't come quick enough. They can change things at half-time. They can sort out personnel, tactics. Manager's got a big job, but he needs to up his game in this second half, and the players do too. And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. Well, can he make this move count? Is he going to punish them here? And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Can they take the lead? Terrific reflex action. Yeah, you've just got to come out and spread your... And a deep corner. Cavani! Outrageously good piece of defending on the line. And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Verratti. And it's Cavani. And he's got the beating of his opponent. And scope for the cross. And a significant block following that cross. Gavranovic with it. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Is he going to punish them here? No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Mbappe with it. Here is Juan Bernat. Here's Mbappe. Cavani. It's a weighted pass. Keeper did his job to begin with. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Edinson Cavani, who puts in a power of work in every game, but is he going to be disappointed with his own contribution? 
Well, it's not been a great first half of football as far as he's concerned. He seemed a little bit sluggish to me, Derek. Easy for the back line to pick him up. Needs more movement. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Verratti. Petar Stojanovic. Mario Gavranovic. Ariana Demi. Goyak now. And on the ball, Goyak. Well, can he make this move count? Gavranovic with it. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Here is Juan Bernat. Here's Mbappe. Danny Olmo with it. Now, what can he do here? And he's clear his lines. Neymar wishes. It might be the moment to get them ahead. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, here we can see, Derek, from this better angle, it's all about the technique. When you're volleying a ball, it's all about timing. Let it get to the right place for your foot to make the connection. And there you go, in the back of the net. One nil then. Mbappe with it. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Here's Mbappe. Neymar. Verratti now. Well, let's see. Does he mean business? Not messing around with that clearance. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Now Minier, carrying a genuine threat here. And it's Cavani. They don't normally need a second invitation to give it a go on the counter. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Mislav Orsic losing possession a bit easily. Thiago Silva. This is Neymar. Mbappe with it. Immaculately placed by Cavani. And a chance to level it. And he's found the net here, Edinson Cavani! Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Ademi on the ball. Mbappe with it. Danny Olmo. This could be an interesting avenue. Well, he's outplayed and outfought him. This is Neymar.
So a throw in here. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Ariana Demi. Danny Olmo. Mislav Orsic. 15 minutes remaining. Throw in here for PSG. Kimpembe, Neymar, here's Mbappe, Verratti, now Minier, Dani Alves, Edinson Cavani now, Minier, here is Juan Bernat. Is a moment he would dearly love to have back if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on. Why not try a shot? Well, he's given it away. Neymar Verratti Is he going to punish them here? He knows he's got to react Marquinhos Neymar Mislav Orsic. Will there be a tangible end product? And there's the feed into the box. Clattered away. Read it superbly to take back possession. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. And they'll have to throw it back in play. Here is Juan Bernat. Neymar. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Mbappe. And Neymar. Well, can he make this move count? Cavani! What can they do from this corner? The minutes ticking away in this game. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Keen to take it short here. And the cross from Mbappe. It lacked conviction, that clearance, and maybe an opportunity for the opposition. Excellent challenge. Neymar. Mbappe with it. 
Carrying a genuine threat here. Opportunity for victory, perhaps. And maybe a chance for PSG now from this corner. Now the execution of the corner. This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance, and there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, it's almost a perfect headed goal. Brilliant delivery into the danger area. Good movement, back of the net. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. The final sentence in the story. The group stage is history, and so is their tournament. They failed at the initial hurdle, Lee. Yeah, very disappointing, Derek, but you run the risk. If you don't do enough in the early games, leave it to the last game. This can happen. Now, they'll be watching the rest of the tournament from their armchairs. Very, very disappointing. Punish them here. Oh, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away. 